Disney Plus will not survive one more year. You have Apple selling a £1,000 phone every year with no new features. And then you have Disney who are giving away their Disney Plus service for $1.99 a month. What's that I smell? Yeah, desperation. Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. Disney Plus has lost over 11.7 million subscribers and it's only gonna get worse. The clock is ticking. The streaming service is in serious trouble. This is the death of Disney Plus. Let me explain why. I make commentary videos, like and subscribe to the channel if you're new to help it grow. The internet's talking about it and so are we. Let's get into it. By now, you've probably seen the headlines. Disney Plus has lost a staggering 11.7 million subscribers in recent months. Their response? Increased prices. That's right, the streaming service that came with dreams and high expectations is crumbling. What's going on? How did this happen? And is there a comeback for Disney Plus or is the streaming service doomed? In this video, I'm going to break down the full story. What's happened to Disney Plus? It's no secret that running a streaming service is an expensive business. You only have to ask the likes of Netflix and Apple Plus who are throwing millions and millions of dollars at content and marketing to grow their platforms. Hey, let's do Get Help. What? Get Help. No. Come on, you love it. I hate it. It's great. It works every time. It's humiliating. Do you have a better plan? No. We're doing it. We are not doing Get Help. Get help! Please! My brother is dying! Get help! Help him! Oh, classic. <sighs> Still hate it. Of course, despite the high cost, there can be a slow but rewarding payoff. Sadly for Disney Plus, the payoff doesn't seem like it's coming anytime soon. And the desperation is showing. Not only have they introduced advertising supported subscription plans, which personally I find offensive. I feel like the whole reason that we all jumped onto these platforms was to get away from advertisements in our programming and the stuff that we're watching and to place them. I just feel was completely wrong and it's devaluing the audience itself and not understanding what we as consumers, we what we want. We want to get away from the ads. But Disney Plus have also recently been pushing out a super cheap trial offer of $1.99 a month for three months, whilst increasing the overall subscription prices. But it doesn't matter how much Disney Plus try to give it away for free, which let's be honest, at this point, they pretty much are doing. Have they got enough steam in their train and enough money in their pockets to compete with their competitors? This is personal. There are three main problems with Disney Plus that may be the cause of this huge subscriber loss. Let's be honest, Disney Plus is home to nostalgia. It lives off people's nostalgic feelings from their childhood. Other than Star Wars and the Marvel series, what else has the platform got to offer in terms of new content? It really begs to wonder because I recently resubscribed. I just wanted to go on and have a look and see what else is new on the platform. Uh, and not much, you know, new content is little to none on the platform. Unlike its rivals, Netflix and Apple Plus, who release new shows and original films all of the time, Disney Plus really has nothing new to bring to the table. In fact, Disney itself are engrossed in living off all their old classics. Just look at the remakes in recent years. You've got The Lion King, The Little Mermaid, The Jungle Book, Moana. We've got Lilo and Stitch coming up, Cinderella, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast. All these remakes that Disney are desperately clutching onto. But what happens when these remakes run out? What next for Disney Plus? Let's be honest, Disney Plus feels less like a streaming site and more like an archive of Disney's best hits. I remember when Disney Plus first launched and me being a fan of some of the old classics, I instantly subscribed. 
I felt an electric rush through my body of excitement when I was re-watching some of these classics that I'd grown up uh, loving and enjoying. I binge-watched a few great shows and then gradually noticed the buzz leave from my body because there's only so much that nostalgia can feed you. We still, as human beings, we want new and fresh content and ideas and Disney Plus are just not bringing that to the table. Disney Plus is basically that popular kid in high school who you bump into 10 years later and they're still desperately trying to live off their high school popularity. Let it go. Time to move on. Disney Plus has come under heavy criticism for bowing down to the woke culture. There's a theory that Disney as a brand has a woke agenda. In fact, Disney corporate president Carrie Burke has publicly admitted that she would like to see at least 50% of Disney's characters in the future identify as either LGBT or a racial minority. I mean, you only have to watch a few of the recent releases to realize that Disney are doing a pretty good job at ticking a lot of boxes. It's definitely high on the priority list when they're making creative choices, but has that caused Disney to lose its authenticity and is it making people switch off? Critics have even accused the brand of pandering and children. Many politicians are campaigning for fans to boycott all things Disney. There's a third reason for Disney Plus's possible huge subscriber loss, and that is the game of cricket. And you're probably thinking cricket and Disney, how does that go together? Let me explain. Disney Plus runs a hot star streaming service that previously streamed Indian Premier League cricket. Disney lost the rights to stream matches, resulting in a huge cut from the subscriber base. So a lot of Disney's subscriber loss may have been due to cricket fans leaving and that's hurt the overall numbers. But there's no denying that the subscriber loss is huge. So they can't all be angry cricket fans. There's got to be certain subscribers that have just had enough of the platform. So the question is, will Disney Plus survive? Disney will have to pull out all the stops and do something pretty drastic to save it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it and you want more commentary videos. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to help it grow. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.